This episode of Chins and Giggles is brought to you by McDonald's. Most people don't know that one in eight people in the U.S. have worked at McDonald's. That's a lot of people, as in 12.5% of the U.S. population. That means one in eight Americans have probably experienced the art of throwing a McDonald's birthday party. Or they know the feeling of the calm before the McDonald's lunch storm. I literally know like five people who worked at McDonald's. I wanted to work at McDonald's so bad too. Like it's so iconic. It must be so fun working at McDonald's, having to make the world's most famous fries on day one of the job. Stop. I would eat all the fries I make. (laughs) It's not the best fries in the world. Oh my God. Or being able to make any of the kids day with a happy meal. They throw more birthday parties than anywhere else on earth. That's so iconic. I love that. And having every type of person in the world come through the store. And there are a lot of cool things McDonald's does as an employer that people might not even know about. McDonald's offers flexible hours and a schedule that works around your life means more time for life, girl. Another cool one, Career Online High School, where employees can graduate from high school by taking classes online. I'm here for the education opportunities. Mm Mm-hmm. 12.5% of the U.S. population has worked at McDonald's and has taken advantage of these incredible career advancement opportunities by McDonald's providers. That's pretty special, girl. McDonald's, now serving much more than orders. Now I can't stop thinking about ordering, like, I'm thinking of Horror Nights. I'm like, a Chucky one? Just like like a black with like a red text of Chucky would be iconic. Ugh, I'm definitely wearing with that a fucking ch- hat with like a Chucky night. like a Chucky crop top. Oh my gosh, y'all! Welcome back to Chins and Giggles, episode seventy six. What is good? What is up, y'all? We're here. Let's just say it, Let's girl. Say it's it, fall. Queen. It's officially fall. Yeah, fall was the first day of fall was September twenty second. Is it twenty second or twenty third? Twenty second. 22nd. Okay, because I, I was seeing some people post like happy fall to the 23rd. Yeah, it's a whole thing, but it's officially here. And now that it's actually here, Myra, like I felt like it wasn't coming soon enough. And now I'm like, wait, we're literally slow down. In. I'm like, okay, slow down. I just feel like hot girl summer just happened. I'm the like, pumpkin patches are like they're on and popping. And I, I just want to know why the fuck we're not at one right now. I want to wait. Till, I'm not going to lie. I want to wait till October 1st to go. Because I feel like once October mm-hmm. hits, it just it's different. You know, that's how I feel about the pumpkin patches. But like Disneyland, I was there August 30th when and, and they actually that's when they start the Halloween. No, so this is funny, Myra. Disneyland, uh, they advertise online that they, they that it officially starts on September 1st. Mm. But um, I didn't have a reservation till like September 5th. But I happened to have gone like on the 28th, 29th or the 30th. One of those days. It was at the end of August. And I was like, oh, they're not going to have the. I was not expecting yeah. to see Halloween decor. I pull up. Damn. I see the big ass pumpkin. And I'm like, oh, <gasps> shoot. I'm like, oh, my God. And tell me why. Like, I wasn't able to get. I was only able to get into like September, like 5th or, or more. Because like September 1st through 4th was like so like immediately sold out. Uh-huh. You know, like, you couldn't reserve because I'm sure everybody wanted to go for the pumpkin. And I just happened to have gone on one of the the last days of August and it was already up. I think they just like advertise it, but sometimes they probably put it a little earlier. So, bitch, I was thriving. Iconic. And I've been a few times since then, but let's let's say what's up, girl. If y'all are listening, um, let's give y'all the visuals. So I know we talked about Christian Girl Fall and Cool Girl Fall a couple episodes ago. We did, huh? And we wanted to end, I guess because no because next week skinny tober starts y'all oh my gosh yes we wanted to end it with a bang we did guys so we did talk about you know how there's like different styles when it comes to fall we talked about like christian girl fall like the really traditional ones and then we also talked about cool girl fall (laughs) so we thought it would be fun if we could dress the part today you know Uh fall is officially here so she's here i'm in what you would call cool girl fall attire karina well right off the bat i think in that episode we asked like who would be who and people were like karina would be cool girl and I would be the Christian girl. <laughs> why did I, why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> like it just sounds funny. No, because why is that our personality trait for real? Cool girl, Christian girl. Like let's Stop. be real. Stop. Stop playing. No, because right now. that really is us. That's so I funny. can't do it for what? Like what is the reason? <laughs> okay, so you want to describe your outfit? Okay, so me, Myra, I am the Christian girl. Fall. Okay, so. If you guys like see online with the trends and stuff, there's definitely different fall trends for like outfits. And there is, yes, there, there's the cool, there's the Christian girl fall that everybody describes as like the Ugg boots with like 
the bag, the hat, like all the the oranges, like literally, like fall through up at somebody. Yes. On someone. And then there's like nowadays, there's like you know, like the people call it cool girl fall, where they're you know they wear like baseball caps and like dunks or like their tennis you it's know a little more shoes. like edgy a little more edgy vibes like a little more modernized vibe to it like i guess you know yeah but my style though i i don't even know where i'm at like dead ass like when it comes to fall because okay let's explain what we're wearing first well i just want to start off with that because i don't want people being like she looked like she's trying too hard or like what the fuck is she wearing because it was actually hard to dress the cool girl fall aesthetic because mm-hmm. like i feel like the cool girl fall aesthetic like from what i was what i see it as online it's very careless very like not careless sorry very edgy modern very effortless yes where it's kind of just like oh you threw some your your tennis shoes on you threw on like some pants you threw a hat on it's supposed to be very like casual yeah but like chic Uh uh-huh and i was trying to do that but i didn't want to do too much yeah and I really wanted to do like cargo pants. Okay, sh- should we actually start start off with what I'm wearing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have I have the baseball cap on. Well, just a cap. It's not a baseball one. Mm-hmm. Myra got it for me at Target. She's so cute. And if you didn't get me this, Myra, I dead ass don't know what the fuck I would have worn. <laughs> like I saw it and I was like, "This is cool, girl fall." Yeah, because like I always think of like a hat. Mm-hmm. I've seen that a lot. Like like yeah. just like the baseball cap. And then um, I'm just wearing a black long sleeve top. I'm wearing some leather cargo pants, She's which so I cute. think are very like, you know, leather. I think like when I think cool girl, I guess I think leather. Yeah. There's so many different types of cool girl fall because there's like the like the casual, but like elegant. Have you seen that? Yeah, I saw that. When Karina was telling me today, she was like, but I don't know what to wear. I'm like, it's easy. Like, I feel like me and you had the same idea of what it was. Yeah. And then I started Googling. I was like, wait, this is giving uh, Sophia. It's giving Sophia, Sophia, Richie. Sophia Richie style. Okay, yes. I was like, but edgy. Mm-hmm. When I thought Cool Girl Fall, I was thinking cargos, like be- baseball cap, um, some dunks. And like something, you know, something I guess similar to what I'm wearing. Like that's kind of what I perceive it as. But when I actually looked at inspo on TikTok and on Pinterest, I was like, wait a damn minute, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, right now, like cool girl fall is like, I don't know. I guess it just depends on like what you want to style it as. Listen, I'm just styling. It, I think there's no rule to it, girl. There isn't. I just kind of went for like an edgy look. That's literally all I did, guys. Cause like when you search up cool girl fall, like it's like all kinds of stuff. Like people will they'll wear something similar to what I'm wearing. But they'll also like style it with like a like a coat, and it okay. gives it like a like a business savvy look. Business Have you seen that? Woman. Have you seen that? And they yeah. do that. Like it'll be exactly what I'm wearing, but instead of the puffer, they'll do like a coat. I love it. Or I've seen just completely different too. Like yeah. the loafers, the shoes, loafers. Have you seen them? That's very like not us, Myra. But I feel like it could be really you, what? the loafers. It's giving Myra. Like, Loafers. I think you would like them. It's Let giving classy. I'm oh, not someone... I would not wear that. Really? <laughs> no. I feel like you would. Like, I would like a cute skirt. Jasmine wears that. Oh, yeah, she does. Our little sister would 100% wear those shoes. Yeah. Um, I feel like who I knows? Wouldn't. I don't even know if I would, honestly. Today's episode of Chins and Giggles is brought to you by Ulta Beauty. With Ulta Beauty, the possibilities are beautiful. Their goal is to celebrate the role of beauty in our lives and redefining how beauty is portrayed. And their mission is to help use the power of our own unique beauty to bring to life the possibilities that lie within each of us every day. That's why we are honored to partner with Ulta Beauty and what better time than during Hispanic Heritage Month. Ulta Beauty sees and celebrates the dimensional richness that's been shaped by Hispanic and Latin cultural traditions and generational influences. Girl, what are you waiting for? Support our roots and purchase Latin-founded brands at Ulta Beauty like Rizos Curls, Better Not Younger, Honest Beauty, and more. Oh my god, I've actually been trying out the Rizos Curls apple cider vinegar scalp and hair rinse on my daughter Mia. Y'all know she got a head full of hair. She has a lot of hair, super thick and curly as well. And let me tell you, it's been leaving her hair so good that I tried it out myself. It feels like a refreshing spa day for my scalp, girl. And don't even get me started on the original beauty blender. Because you know it's an absolute essential. A game changer. Everybody has one. For sure, girl. And I'm currently obsessed with the Carolina Herrera Very Good Girl Glam Perfume. Every time I wear it, girl, I get so many compliments. If you want to discover more about these brands, their stories, and shop their products, head over to Ulta Beauty. 
Shop and support Hispanic Latin brands at Ulta Beauty and let's together redefine what beauty means to the world. But yeah, I was going to say, I like her. Like, I think I would actually wear this out somewhere. Yeah, she's a queen. She's like, I love the vibe. vibe. I told Karina, I was like, okay, I was at Target just looking around and then I said, wait that was not target it was walmart oh period walmart oh, bitch, what the walmart, fuck? walmart is stepping up. it up first of all girl up, it was walmart bitch Iconic. i have seen another one and i was like this is so cute it was super edgy it was the same like that but it was gray and it said bad hair, bad day. hair day and i was like this is giving cool girl Stop. and then i saw the the green one i know it doesn't look green does it look green on your screen it is. Oh, it yeah, girl, it just, just kidding. i think in person it doesn't look like the lights and stuff. oh shit no yeah it's like an olive color. but I was like, oh my God, olive. Like that is, that's it's a color fall. for fall. So I got those two. I was like, these are iconic. But low key, I'm like, I'm about to have them back, girl, because they're I so cute. Go get some. Uh, we're not like, me and Mara were just talking about this right now. Right before we started, we were like, we're not hat girls. Like, why are we not hat girls? They are a vibe. Like I could see myself styling an outfit around a hat. Like yeah. they're actually really cute. Like I want to wear them more now. I'm like, okay, very good queen. They're but yeah, so this cute. is my like version of a, uh, what I think, uh, um, cool girl fall is or you know yeah what cool girl. what i could do with what i had in my closet queen yes girl let me tell you mine eh? okay <laughs> you guys i let me tell you guys right now though i don't i had to shop for this so am i really a christian girl fall <laughs> Are they gonna say, am i really a christian girl <laughs> well yeah am i really a christian girl if i had to send my man to get me some to books? go buy me a turtleneck you know, <laughs> okay no for real <laughs> okay so top walmart literally walmart oh my um, god i didn't see where my stuff is from i'm you know so sorry from? well the hat's from walmart the puffer jacket is from amazon the top i'm sure is amazon the bottoms are fashion nova and the Period. shoes are um alex Nikes. on instagram uh, shoe plug. um okay yeah so top walmart jeans i wouldn't know these are old let me tell you i have not worn ripped jeans in a minute but i had to pop them out for the christian girls <laughs> <laughs> the christian girls <laughs> boots target uh the boots necklace. are giving. Where is this necklace from, Queen? Somewhere at the mall. I mean, the jewelry I always wear. Um, but let me tell you, I was like, I need the boots. So I had to send Brian. And I was shocked because I feel like these are like very like still like I would wear them. Where are they from? Uh, Target. They're so cute. They are so cute. I'm like, I'm wearing these for sure. They're super cute. Bitch. The ripped jeans, low key. I'm over the ripped jeans. I had to like get them out the closet. I was like, I haven't worn these in a minute. I haven't worn ripped jeans in a, I in a week. Know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> me i just wore them last week like why no um i don't know so the jeans i was like all right um the top two i feel like i normally wouldn't wear this nowadays mm. i don't know i would but now that i have it on i'm like okay i could see her coming out for i like, would wear that exact outfit on thanksgiving like oh, for real and i have a belt on too Queen. because i was like the christian girls wear the belts i let me tell Stop, you not the christian girls no, okay not the christian, christian girl fall just... yeah the christian i actually so i was like trying to get inspo because i was looking at the girls like i literally searched <laughs> I was looking christian at the girl. girl fall like i literally searched I'm that up screaming so they have their little belts they have their boots they have their tops or jeans they got their hats let me tell you when i, I sent brian to get me a hat queen he came with a summer hat <laughs> imagine he came back with a summer hat like a well, sun hat it kind of i feel like it was giving very it was like wavy i was like this is not fall was it brown you should have just worn it it was brown but it was like wavy it was giving like by the shore vibes i was like this is <laughs> not is funny dude. i'm like the, i'm like i'm not a real christian girl fall if i'm over here with a summer hat that's really funny. Yeah. So that I was sad about Karina. I feel like the hat would have 100% no, completed it. No, but this it. is also like, this is, this is what I girl. would wear like in 2016. But now that I have it on, I'm like, okay, no period. I would wear this for like a casual Thanksgiving moment. Oh uh, yeah. I, I don't care like what my style is on Thanksgiving. I'm wearing the <laughs> Christian girl. Yeah, outfit. But I really thought I was a Christian girl and I'm not girl. I really <laughs> have to We need to stop associating Christianity with the actual <laughs> no, like, no, no, because oh you're like, God. I thought I was a Christian girl. I, no, you like, guys, first of all, no, it's I'm just not the same. Where did that even come from? Like, why yeah. do they call them Christian girl? Fall? No, I'm not like, Oh my God. Yeah. I'm not. No, like, no, no, no. I swear to God. I did not mean it like that. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. I'm saying like, I wonder where that came from, like, the Christian girl fall. Because it's just funny. Who like, named it that? Like, why does it have to be called the Christian girl fall? Like, Okay, honestly, though, like, I'm trying to see a girl it's funny, though, to it's church. Funny. She's probably wearing this. It's, it is funny. It's She's funny. a queen. Christian, like, Christian girl fall. Not going to lie, like, I, I, I get it, though. Like, I would go to church like this. 
I'm dead. That's funny. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a, it, but I think it's more of like the aesthetic of fall because it's not like you a Christian girl would wear that year round. It's more like <laughs> when you see the pictures, it just it's giving Christian girl fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just funny. I just need like my rayitos, and that would be like <laughs> the balayage. I need my blonde hair. Is balayage like? Oh my god! Everybody's doing like it's the very fall, fall hair. Bitch, yeah. Right now that fall's coming in, people will do like the they, they'll call it like the pumpkin orange or i don't know i'm making that shit up i just lied oh yeah the random stuff they call it like the latte hair and shit i'm like girl just say just say balayage. Pumpkin hair <laughs> imagine just say balayage just say copper <laughs> cowboy uh, cowboy red like girl just I say just something like copper. that um yeah that's that's us you guys love the fits I'm not mm-hmm. going to lie, like, just wearing this, I am like, oh, period. Like, I had to, like, go shop for it. But then I'm like, okay, I'm actually down to wear this. You're kind of, like, ready for a pumpkin I'm patch. I'm actually, I, I would go to a pumpkin patch with this on. Oh, 100%. 100%. But then I was looking at Karina, and I was like, bitch, that hat. The I don't hat ever wear baseball caps. Me either. Ever. I don't wear them. And I'm like, it looks so cute. I don't know if I would wear this on Thanksgiving, I'll tell you that. This is okay, very casual. I was going to say, I feel like Thanksgiving, I don't see you wearing that. Of course not. I see you wearing more something like this with like a skirt. I might wear something similar to this, like if I'm pulling up to Horror Nights. Maybe that not part. in the puffer jacket. It's just too much. You know, can I just say that I'm, it's a little hot under all this. I got fucking um, leather cargoes on, um, a long sleeve, the puffer jacket, the hat, I feel like is like for like nice breezy days. Actually, right now, like the temperature in this room feels good. But when I was earlier, when I was ru- rushing like in here, I was like starting to sweat in my head. Mm-hmm. So these are, and I feel like once you got the hat on, bitch, you better not take it off all night because I know the sweat, makeup, and mm-hmm. hair looking crazy under there. No, and and that's a good thing about those hats. When your hair is oily, my hair was that's oily. Why I was so today. excited for a hat, Karina. My hair was really oily. I sprayed it like crazy. My hair looks crazy this under queen. this hat. I'll tell you that. Ugh. I let me know where you guys get those hats, though, because I'm trying to get hats. Like I've never worn a hat though. That's you should what Amazon, it was. Myra. Like imagine like cute little spooky ones. Oh, so cute, iconic. Yeah, but I'm talking about the fall hats too, though. Oh, you want a fall hat? The Christian girl. You want fall? a Christian girl hat? Let me show you. They're cute, right? I just feel like it's not me. Aren't they called like what are they called? Is there a name for that? You know what I was trying to give today? Well, first of all, I'm not wearing a scarf. <gasps> oh my god okay that was crazy she's but not you know Christian why she's not fall. you know why i'm not though why? the turtleneck oh. it's gonna be too much you gotta do wait are you doing a turtleneck no are you well, doing a scarf with a turtleneck i mean people that are in the actual cold like you know where where, where, where it's meant to be worn mm-hmm. yeah they'd probably be covered up head to toe in like a turtleneck like, scarf snow jacket on top these girls no. don't got scarves they got these tops on they do. So because they didn't, I was like, all right. You want it? You actually want to get one of those hats, huh? Is that your style? No, it's not. That's why do you think I freaking got a hat? I thought you hat? just said right now that like, you're looking for I a hat. I said I'm looking for one just just for the picture. Oh, <laughs> you want to get a picture. I just trying to get a picture by some leaves and caption it, Christian Girl Fall is here. Imagine. <laughs> we should have done that for the first day of fall. No, that's I first of all we were like obviously exaggerating our outfits like i wanted to wear the hat like i never wear hats but i was like i, I don't feel like our, a full christian girl fall vibe i also want to say that i feel like our outfits are not exaggerated they're actually pretty casual like the both of them like <laughs> but if we would have pulled up and not said anything i don't think anybody would be like oh she's totally in her christian girl era like you know what i mean <laughs> no but like i think it would have been funny if i had the hat because i don't wear hats funny. and i was really trying to pull the full character we should have gone all out huh Honestly, I feel like I did. I just, I'm missing the hat. I didn't go shopping for anything. I just kind of like pulled out whatever the fuck was in my closet. And I was like, this is going to have to work because. Iconic. I, but I you, See, you you are naturally a cool girl fall. Stop. It's so hard because this is cool girl fall. And I'm like, girl, think- stop. Where's the fall in that girl? I think there's different people. My, there's different styles to cool girl fall. Because I almost envision too, like edgy, almost like, like the punk fall. Like punk hmm i was like looking at different aesthetics and i was just thinking of all the outfits for fall and i'm like i would totally be down to wear like a punk outfit to like horror nights like Wait. with like fishnets with a cute like punk skirt i'm wearing and, that like hat. a cute tee <laughs> and a hat or some bullshit i don't know like uh-huh. there's different vibes um but yeah that's our fits let us know if like our outfits go with us like 
are we what we're wearing or like what do you I actually feel like they picture us are wearing i honestly like if i could describe you in a fall outfit it would be what you're wearing <laughs> no i would not wear these jeans probably i'm mm-hmm. telling you not karina we're in a new era uh, I mean, I get it. I, I mean, honestly, mean. someone's going to pull up a fucking episode of me wearing this. I've, Last worn week, these, like, I I've worn these jeans, not going to lie. I have worn them, but like right now, I'm used to. Uh, no, I'm, but I feel like this is your vibe, though. It is. Right now, we're into like the really like baggy pants. Uh-huh. Like, what are but those this pants? Is close called? to your style. It's close to it, 100%. Yeah. I would just honestly, like, all I would change would be the jeans. Honestly, That's I feel I like I'm change. always having an identity crisis because I don't know what the fuck my style is. I would totally wear that, but I would also wear this. And I would wear a punk outfit and I would wear um, fucking just anything. I don't know where my style is at, like dead ass. But I mean, there's no rules to styles, I guess. You but. absolutely are right. But honestly, I, I brought the ripped jeans because of the pictures, the inspo. <laughs> it's okay, Queen. <laughs> because She's imagine like all how, explaining herself. No, because imagine how I would look with like baggy ass pants and then having to fit my boots over it. <laughs> Girl, I'm dead. I mean, I, I'm shocked that you even, I, I struggle finding freaking boots no. that go up my calves. Queen. Okay, so I was scared when I said Brian, I was like, oh my God, but this is what it is. It comes with like a stretchy oh. thing. I'm like, these boot companies need to get with a program, girl. They stretch. They have a little stretchy band. The struggle, bitch. I was scared of that. I'm like, they're not gonna go past my mm. thigh. I haven't my tried thigh? your Cab. your calves. <laughs> I haven't tried um like thigh high boots in a long time. Like they Me might either. fit. Maybe after weight loss, they probably oh, fit they're better. definitely gonna fit you. I don't. Well, even those think yeah. Worry that's about. what I'm like saying that they look like you know they're they're good for that. But so there is so cute, many. Huh? They are so cute. I'm actually obsessed with these low key. I I need that outfit. I'm wearing them to the pumpkin pad. I would 100% wear what you're wearing. Like I'm saying, or like, you know what outfits too? like will never go out of style for me in fall. Just like a cute skirt with like the, the medias, like the nylons and like some cute boots. I love that. And that's like also that. Christian girl fall vibes. But I'm telling you, I literally went for that picture, that one viral picture. I went for that queen shit. Yeah. But guys, oh my gosh, Skinny I'm Tober's coming up. Skinny Tober's coming up. Take a good look at this. I don't think the tree's on. <laughs> has she Take been on good- all fucking month bitch? i'm not gonna lie i turned the bitch on and when i watch the episodes it don't even look on so i was like what's the damn boy okay, so leave her <laughs> off then dude. well we could turn around so they could see okay look, Take let a me good show look. y'all these damn freaking tr- leaves imagine okay like you could oop. i mean i see them but do you see it here well now they'll know they're on so they'll appreciate them now huh okay see, see like you like, literally kids. can't tell exactly take one last good look and enjoy this last episode of the fall decor guys because take a last good look at these pumpkins take hello a last sweater good weather look. sign all of it you this, can even see that hello sweater weather sign yeah should we show that them real so quick just so they could appreciate just show it so they could appreciate because you can't even see hello it hello sweater weather just the cute stuff in the back that nobody sees <laughs> literally so but, tragic it's so iconic, but this will be taken down as of next week because next week, Skinny Tober starts, y'all. Skinny Tober, you heard her. Like, how the fuck are we? Not only is it fall, how is it Skinny Tober next week? I'm so confused. That's crazy. So, as you guys know, if you guys listen to our podcast or watch our podcast and you've been watching us, you know, since last year, which is crazy, this is already Skinny Tober number two. That's wild that's crazy and we still haven't shot for staff queen i just know we're gonna be there the night before oh amazon will come through that's what we say queen we have a week i i got the costumes we say i already told you what happened to the fireplace (laughs) oh my god it's already over we never got it decor wise we need to get it together in the next seven days i don't want to be here the night before costumes myra okay here's the thing myra i'm gonna need you okay to help me because you're good at decor because yeah. you know i would just slap some bats on this bitch and it's over <laughs> you need to help with decor and i need spooky i'm gonna need you to chill on the christian girl halloween uh, <laughs> all and right me first of all i was watching and the episode this bitch the was fucking saying, spooks this bitch was saying this is aesthetic i'm like this is tacky as fuck no <laughs> Marla, this is aesthetic why would you <laughs> not this is tacky this is not aesthetic girl you think this is tacky <laughs> no like the cute tacky we talked about Myra, this is fucking iconic Prina. I just feel if like you want to get so aesthetic, cute. we're going to need more neutral pumpkins, less orange leaves. Well, I don't know what I'm saying is, <laughs> look, I actually have the costumes for next next week. Like I get ready, 
we, me, Elizabeth, Peter, and Crystal. Oh my gosh, we need or to tell our, our producer about this too. We're gonna try to make it work because um crystal you guys crystal was on here she, she told her story and you guys loved her so much and we want to bring her on to skinny, skinny tell her um currently our situation we have the four mics i have a fifth mic that we used yeah, one time for do. for um friendsgiving and we'll probably have to have like a talk with our producer if crystal's listening right now like what's going she's on she's like y'all bitches didn't tell me <laughs> <laughs> but um by the way it's two different crystals our producer and our friend that was I here i know the people actually um i think got a little bit confused they were asking our 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 other friend crystal if she was the one that produces the episode no yeah the, so the they're, episode, they're, so they're two different those. crystals guys but um crystal with a c and then crystal with a k yeah I think that's my way of like <coughs> crystal with a c yeah and crystal with a k. but we're gonna figure it out but it's gonna be so fun yeah and i already know what we're wearing for episode one of skinny tober and is it the one we talked about um hmm. is it the She's like not trying to ruin it. No, I just. What does it start with? Queen, give them a teaser. I can't even tell them what it starts with. (laughs) Give me a hint, girl. Spooky vibes. We want to start spooky. spooky. But we're so excited, and y'all know if you know been what the heck. What am I saying? If you've been watching since last year, we do this thing in October. Well, we did this thing in October last year, where every week of October we dressed up for Halloween, and the set's gonna change. We're thinking spooky vibes. Like Myra, I want this. That's what I'm saying. Like. I'll yeah. take care of. I have five costumes to take care of from head to toe, including wigs and fucking well, like you're gonna everything. You're going to take care of all that. Well, ch- chins and giggles is going to take care of it. But I'm no, saying but you're like, going to like plan it all out. Like, no, I'm saying I'm going I'm to order everything. Oh shit! So I'm just saying like teamwork. You know, I'll take care of the costumes and if send me inspo. I'll, I'll also try to order some stuff for the the set but what i'm saying is is like my homework i'll take care of all the decor at the one if you order everything i think we could both we could even go shopping together like i was gonna say the costumes too like i feel like i would want to be as equal as no of course i'll i'll ask you and everything but i could find everything on amazon i know i can we love amazon i will get those shits delivered tomorrow (laughs) right Um, come on amazon prime oh we're so excited but how are we gonna do it with the couches it's oh we're gonna make it work i remember we did um yeah typically we would do like four but no i but know for freaking friends giving peter all apachurado in between us like how the fuck we gonna do it girl we will make it work <laughs> people were saying how we were like sandwiching peter i was like which one <laughs> uh friends giving stop playing it was five of us and peter was like in between us and people were saying how he was like squished. no i, I like, think stop. we'll fit myra i'm looking at the couch right now you know I think I've lost some weight from last year. We could try to. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, wait. No, I think um, we'll definitely make it I work. I think it's going to be so much fun, guys. And, and the good thing about Skinny Tober is if you guys have seen it, like we really do put our all into our costumes. But at the same time, we got to step it up a little bit, though. Right? We do, because sometimes they're a little rushed and sometimes we look hilarious. <laughs> but I think that's what makes it funny, like that everybody kind of like puts their own twist to their costume and sometimes, like, some of us, like, are, like, I'm going to the tea. And I guess they just come out really funny sometimes. Yeah. I feel like it would be very costly. But I was thinking, I'm like, look, if we had, like, a professional makeup artist and hairstylist every week, that'd be crazy. That would be crazy. But I feel it would like. would be too expensive, though. Honestly, though, like, dead ass, though, I think that's what makes it funny. Like, when Peter was, um, ¿cómo se llama? The Grudge. Uncle Fester. Oh, my God. That one was funny. Like, that shit was funny funny as fuck because like he looked like he had a condom on his head yeah but like but dead ass like we actually ordered like a wig cap and everything uh-huh. so i thought i i was like i got the wig cap like we're good to go it's just we that like the thing is i got the wig cap but i didn't get glue for him to put it on so he had to use <laughs> tell me why i don't know why the fuck i didn't just say like use some lash glue or something because he ended up using this like glue like straight up black it was like a black <laughs> all the glue. wig glue right it was a wig glue it was wig glue and like i think i had used it one time like i think sometimes tony will like if it's like a where he's styling <laughs> our hair yeah and he adds like tracks to our hair he'll just put the the glue on but the the glue is literally like a black latex so peter put that on like to put the wig cap on so you could like see through it and it was like <laughs> this black line around his head like it was just like a mess <laughs> i'm done and then it but i think that's what makes it funny is that yeah. some of the costumes like end up like looking hilarious because we put our own twist to it so mm-hmm. I, I actually like the idea of us getting ready like yeah 
And then also, like, you guys don't see a lot of behind we the scenes. We gotta come ready, though. People, I don't think people understand that, like, Elizabeth and Peter got would get here last year. And, like, in the freaking dining area, just quickly getting ready but before we so started. they're so funny, Myra. Maybe we <laughs> should start recording a little bit of behind the scenes of us getting ready and, like, show them snippets. That like, would be right funny. right when the episode starts. <laughs> because y'all don't understand, like, how funny, like, I'm thinking of, like, I... Dude, Skinny Tober, like, the memories. Uh-huh. When I think a lot about Skinny Tober memories, I think about, like, the getting ready. Uh-huh. Like, the the four of us, we, we, we were, like, literally in the kitchen all getting ready. Like, we have... Uh, Crystal's in there. We have 20 minutes to get in the fucking studio. And we're, like, over here, like, putting wigs on and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's so funny. It's hilarious. Yeah. Like, it's, it's so fun actually getting ready for those. So, um, yeah, it's going to be so much fun, guys. The first oh, costumes... I'm excited. You guys are not ready. We're going all out. We're no, going yeah, all out. just told me and I'm like, oh shit. Y'all like, really not ready, girl. Y'all are not ready for these costumes, bitch. Like, I'm so excited. And the set too, like, we're thinking spooky. Like, bitch, we gotta, we gotta step it up. Like, I think, like, I look back at last year's Skinny Tober and even if we like threw it together really last minute, like the vibes were just immaculate. The vibes were there. And if you guys, please feel free to comment down below what you guys want to see for Skinny Tober. Like, is there anything in particular that you're like, this would be really cool? What vibes do you guys want to see? What vibes do you want to see, Myra? Because I want to see spooky. Um, yeah. I like want scary. bats, like skeletons. Bitch, I want a fucking like, I want like, I want a smoke machine in here or something. Like that would be badass. Every other minute. <laughs> no, literally, like we need a strobe light. Ah, I'm done. Like, all right, come on, maze. But we're going to see what we could do with the decor. I know that like some people had mentioned they were like, how are they going to decorate? Because there's no shelves. We will bring out what we have to bring out to make it fucking work. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be just know that we will not disappoint. And we are trying to like make it a really fun set. Absolutely. Okay, guys, we had to take a quick little break because Brian got us some canes. Dude, I don't know why I do this where like I order a whole plate. Like there's literally no physical way that I possible that I could eat all this. Like I'm going to have a fucking chicken strip. <laughs> you should have just got the cane. I should have got the cane. I should have just taken one of your strips, Queen. But mm. you know, we love enthusiasm. These breads, girl, iconic. I'm Can't sorry, survive. I was so hungry. You I just need, had breakfast. You need to start eating like your meals, especially like with <laughs> with breastfeeding and stuff and like, with pumping. You don't understand, Queen. I have my breakfast, and then the day passes by. It's seven then- p.m. And then by the time you know it, I'm like, I haven't ate. Girl. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just going to take a You know what bites. I do? Because um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but with a sleeve, guys, because you know how I had like the surgery. Um, Obviously, I get full really fast. But because but because like your pouch or like your stomach is a lot smaller, it also like empties faster. So I have a question with that. Like if you had a baby, right? And you were breastfeeding like. Would you be like constantly like feeling like you would constantly just be eating? I mean, that's kind of like you get dehydrated faster. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. But you're like, don't care. I, <laughs> no, the way I do it, though, like go on about my day is like what I'm saying is like, yes, I get full really fast. But like within an hour, I'm like ready to snack again. I'm like, I'm ready to snack. So the way you get your calories in is you're constantly snacking. Like I don't have yeah. my three meals a day. I'm having like meals every like. It's I was just thinking about you earlier. Like that's how it is. Or some sometimes I have, to, I have to tell myself I'm like, am I hungry or am I thirsty? Mm. You know what I mean? Because I'll be like, oh shit, like I'm having another snack, but like <laughs> I haven't had water since like mm-hmm. you know. How I'll be like, like, hold on. Um, how do you kind of hydrate? Like, do you guys are you able to like? Have like a full water bottle. Or huh? Honestly, with liquids, I do amazing. Like with liquids, Myra, like they don't. With fo- it's different with food. Like with food, like you'll in- you'll you know intake a certain amount. I think it's like with a gastric sleeve. I believe once you're healed and everything, you can eat up to four ounces at a time, which sounds like t- a tiny amount when you think about four ounces. But like Not when so you're much eating, be having. No, I'm talking <laughs> about food. <laughs> Like four ounces of food. I was like, girl. Not four ounces of liquid. No. Oh my lord. When you said that's how much Noah eats, I'm like, hold on. No. no. There's no way I'm eating as much as a four month old or a five month old. No. So that's no, no, I was gonna say no one be drinking more than that. No, it's it's liquids are so different. <laughs> With food at a time, 
at a time, I believe you could only hold four ounces. I'm not gonna lie. I have never measured my fucking food. Like I've always taught myself I'm going to measure it. I kind of just go based off of like, I just stop when I'm full. But what I've noticed is like, you could serve yourself. Like you can't serve yourself a whole plate, obviously, but if you want to eat more of it and get more calories in, like you literally just eat slower. That's it. Like I'm telling you, like you'll be super full, but like in 30 minutes, you're like, I'm not full anymore. So it's like, you know, that's how it no, is. Yeah. Like I'm always snacking. No, no, I was so, just like, thinking about it because I know um I was just literally thinking about you earlier. Not you being pregnant. Imagine. Well, stuff. I'm on my period, so. Oop. And I had remembered how you had told me like you you want to try to breastfeed for your next pregnancy, like like fully for like because I know you you told me about Mia. Yeah, I tried with Mia and I honestly failed, guys. Like, I mean, but I've learned so much from from Mia that I do want to breastfeed in my next pregnancy. So because you had told me that, <clears throat> I was like wait how is she gonna do it with like <laughs> honestly i could just imagine myself i could just imagine myself just being naturally more hungry and me just like snacking all fucking day uh-huh. like that's literally how it is like i feel like sometimes people have a misconception of like gastric sleep patients or just bariatric patients and they think that they're like pobrecitos they're having two bites of that and like their life is fucking miserable they're not eating shit all day like and it's like no actually like you're literally it kind of feels like you're eating all day but like in small portions but like think about it guys like how many you know how many times have you heard of somebody that gets a bariatric surgery and like it fails down the road like it's not it's not just like the solution like you have to be making good decisions i mean i'm eating canes right now it's probably not the best to be eating fucking fried chicken you know like realistically you know but also like i reward myself i guys the september challenge she's still going strong i have drank i drank at luis's housewarming a few days ago um and i drank another time before that so it's only been twice this month but you know she's not like she's closing out her rings though bitch i see those notifications oh um and i do want to say this okay so i'm like and this not me like switching conversations but like speaking on that real quick um yeah like dead ass myra like i we try to take a day off out of the week you know to not work out but we're working out six seven days out of the week i like that you mentioned that (laughs) because on my end going no i see you closing your rings too it'll tell it'll tell me like myra <laughs> got a reward. myra finished the workout can i be can i tell you did i tell you what happened no i have not worked out for a week at this point you know why oh let me tell you the real reason so this is my fault because i was waiting for like the last hour to like dance merengue and i didn't realize i, f- I kind of forget some i mean i don't forget i know i got a c-section but i just forgot that like you kind of had to go easy so tell me why you know because merengue you use your you use your waist a lot and like, you're also trying lot. to get in ten thousand steps in two minutes queen <laughs> and i'm also trying to get them done in an hour what's going on here like you gotta get them done throughout so, the day you know all of a sudden krina i started like i remember one <clears> morning <throat> i woke up sore and i'm like i feel like i just like i'm feeling fresh out of fucking surgery right now like if i had just gotten my c-section and Amber, I would even get up, the way I would get up. I would be like, like struggling. It was like, and I and it clicked. I'm like, why is it hurting? And it clicked. I'm like, I'm getting out I'm of hot. using my core a lot. Take the shit off, clean. clean. So I told Brian, I'm like, oh my god, the merengue. I didn't even realize, but like, it's, it's aggressive. making me. It's aggressive. So I gave myself a few days because I thought I'm like, oh, I'll go back to dancing. You know, like, girl, you could just take your fucking steps. And <laughs> you could just take steps throughout the day. I could just do it throughout the day, right? Um, <laughs> and I stopped. And like, yeah, after like the fourth day, I didn't feel sore anymore. It's the but you have to dental. listen to your body. It doesn't have to be intense. Listen to your body. You know? If you guys got a C section, don't like. First of all, I'm five months out. I don't think I should be doing anything intense. But let me tell you, that's my fault because I could 100. percent I did try it one day where like I went on a walk during the day and I was like halfway there. I was like, oh, and you're like, you realize when? Okay, I'm like that too though. Sometimes Myra, where I'm trying to get my steps in and then I'm doing the same thing. I'm like doing this mm-hmm. like in place, like trying so hard to get my steps in. And then it'll wear me out. And I'm like, this is literally a fucking workout. Like, if I just walk throughout the day, like, it'll add up slowly. But, I mean, we're trying. Let me tell you. She has not given up. She ordered the portable treadmill. Me too. Shut the fuck up, I ordered it last night. I ordered it the day before yesterday. So, I think I get it tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Wait, I want to know which one you got. On Amazon? On Amazon, yeah. Stop. 
playing queen. I honestly don't know which one I got. I told Raul, I was like, I really, really want this Karina. treadmill. And he, he ordered it. You need, to show, you need to ask him which one because there's some really expensive I got one that no has reason. like a stand where you can put a laptop on it. Because yeah, I was like, no, that's not the one I got, queen. No, because to buy a standing desk is going to be like another freaking. Where did you home. see that? On Amazon, Raul found it. Like, I got this one. Oh, queen. And you're able to roll her, put her like under a couch. Yeah. That is, Karina, we I mean, really you're are doing good twins, though, my girl. We really are twins. So it's fucking crazy. We're no, I wasn't sync. giving up. I told Brian, I'm like, I-, I still try to get my steps in, but I'm not reaching my 10K steps. So I'm, I'm like, with that, I will. Okay, so what do you, what have you ate right now? Right now, I've eaten uh, like a uh, half of a, a strip. And I'm, I, if you, if you kind of like notice, I'm like eating slow because if I would like shove you it on my mouth, right bitch, one of them would probably like, yeah, you have to eat slow, but like right I, now, do you feel full? I feel content, but I'm not like about to explode. No. Do you? I know you had told me once that they removed like the the hormone that makes you hungry, huh? They remove the fundus, I believe. Do you ever feel like, oh, my stomach is like growling? Oh, I feel hunger now. It's been a year. So your stomach growls. I don't know. The fact that you're thinking about that. Hold on. Just go. Sense. No, but like, I don't think I've heard my stomach like go crazy where I'm like, fuck, my stomach is going crazy. No, but like, do you know when you're hungry? Like, Of course. I'll, I'll 100% I'll be like, I'm starving. And it's like, yeah, I, then I get really full really fast. But yeah, I feel hunger. Yeah. Like the first few months, you don't feel hunger at all. But yeah, I feel hunger now. Like definitely like if it's been like a few hours, I'm like, I'm fucking hungry. And then I'll just, and then I'll get excited and I'm like, I'll order like a whole meal. And I'll order these sides thinking like, you know, just thinking like that I could eat them like before. And then like I take a few bites and I'm like, why the fuck did I order all this food? Uh, but Raul loves it because he gets to like eat all the leftovers. Period. But after like I, I there was a point where I had like, you know, how I said how I plateaued and stuff. Yeah. There was a point that I was trying to be too strict on myself. But then once like once I got consistent with working out, I actually notice now and I love it, Myra. And this is why I encourage a lot of people to get their steps to in. like work out. I know it sounds cringy, guys, because there was yeah. a point where I really didn't give a fuck about working out. Hated the thought of going to the gym. I never ever thought I would be a gym girly ever. But I will say that it's like when it comes to diet and stuff, if you want to grow muscle, like I'm trying to grow my ass because I feel like a wall right now, like on some real shit. Like my ass is getting saggy and flat as shit. So, like, I am kind of trying to, like, focus on, like, growing muscle, like, in uh-huh. certain areas and just, like, leaning, toning, you know? Just my arms, you know, just, like, the loose skin is, is, is uh, you know, it's everywhere. So, the I am working on, yeah, I'm trying to work on, like, toning up and everything, you know? And, like, a lot of people in the gym will actually recommend you, like, you have to eat your carbs if you want to grow muscle. Yeah. So, I've actually been in taking, like, all the carbs, like, to an extent, you know? Like, I'm not going to go freaking, like, eat chips and ice cream and all the shit I shouldn't be eating. Yeah. But when it comes to rice or like things like that, like I'm like, no, don't be scared of rice. Cause well, I was, because I was scared like, of rice. I feel like naturally, like, like <clears throat> think about old caveman days. <clears throat> yeah. Like you're eating. I Beans mean, I, are good for you. Too. I mean, you're not eating like fast food. You were not eating fast food back in those days, but like realistically, like everything is like how active you are, you know, how much you yeah. move and stuff and how much. And the healthy carbs too, though. Like, of course, canes is not a good fucking example yeah, i shouldn't a, be eating though, this shit we should not be it's gonna give me acid reflex like the fried food i shouldn't even be you know whatever but like in general like like there you get to a toxic mindset where you're even thinking like should i eat this mango because it's like full of sugar and like it's fruit bitch you know what i mean because you do get there where you're like so desperate to like move the scale that you're like i'm not gonna eat that because it's a frick it has carbs and it's like it's a fruit so i've really like changed my mentality myra and I've noticed with working out, like the sc- I'm still dropping weight now. If anything, I was able to break my plateau. I'm like, you know, just working out in general. It makes me have more energy throughout the day. And on top of that, like I'm seeing the scale move with eating yeah. rice, with eating beans, with the eating toast and all this stuff. Yeah. Obviously, I eat a lot less of it because it's like the carb stuff fills you up a lot. You reap yeah, the benefits. Believe it or not, 10,000 steps a day, Karina, is a lot. Yeah, like it, like, it it's is. a you know? lot of steps. The fact that you're doing that every day, that's a lot I've of I've skipped steps. like, I want to say there's been like four days. You're doing that it I more can't. than not though. No, yeah, for sure. Like it's my goal to get him in. That is like a big change. It and really then on is. top of that, like we really do try to like I'll do the the ten thousand steps, but on top of that, I also will do like the weight training and stuff. And so. it's funny because like once you get it, I know Karina when she was like into the watch, she would tell me like Myra, she she was like let's go on a walk or like here, oh my god, you need to get the watch. It counts your steps. And like I get it now. 
Um, I'm <laughs> definitely like, okay, not like doing any any like eating changes. I do try to cook more at home and stuff. And sometimes you don't have to when but you're even being then, active. I feel more energized, like uh-huh. dead ass. Like even my my um my watch, it'll tell you like stand up. You know, get your and mm-hmm. and not just like trying to lose weight but like in general like the more you just look into it the health benefits i think about back then when i would not try to get my steps and i'm thinking i'm like what is me being a couch potato doing to my heart Mm -hmm. like what what is it really doing to it no i know what you mean and it's like sometimes you don't want to talk about it too much because you don't want to be that like annoying person saying like oh like work out or do this and that guys even just like a few months ago like we were like tra- telling each other like try to yeah. motivate each other like and we I, really gotta I work out get it now that's I why get even it now. like even the the little step thing like i'm like because brian <clears throat> brian was like no don't get that like you could just literally go out and walk i'm like but you don't get it those hours that i'm editing oh, yeah. on the computer i'm gonna be on my ass sitting oh, yeah. down for hours <laughs> if i'm yes. watching a movie i could be walking getting my steps no in. literally like i that's the, my biggest struggle with hitting my steps I will go on a fucking walk. I will be on that. I don't have a, a treadmill at home, but I'll be on the elliptical for 50 minutes, Maya. And I'm like, bitch, 7,000. I still have 3,000 left. It's not your average walking. Yeah. You're actually really like, good for you. it takes um, effort to get the 10,000. And with everybody with your own time, y'all, like, like that's why, like, I don't, even on Instagram, like, I'll post, like, us working out sometimes, but I never want to post too much. Because you never want to be, like, annoying about it, like, you know? Because sometimes if you're not in that mindset, like, it kind of is annoying. Like, okay, shut the fuck up about, about working out or you're losing weight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes it could be annoying or not and you're not in that. But I think that with consistency, like, you really do build habits because I never thought I would see the day that I would enjoy working out. Yeah. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. In the moment, it hurts. And I'm not, like, saying, like, yeah, I love this pain. It's the after and I'm like, that feels so fucking good that I got it over oh with. Oh my God. Can I talk about still on the same topic? I want to talk about anxiety because so I was used to working out every night. So recently, I think my body kind of, I started just seeing like a pattern. Just a few days ago, I started getting anxiety in my sleep. Like I would wake up like panicked. And I'm like, I haven't felt this in a really Dude, long time. Dude, I haven't felt that in a long time. So I searched it up and there's actually a study that shows, Karina, that if you're not someone that like burns your energy throughout the day, you are high. You have a higher chance of having anxiety. Think about, think all about the energy that didn't when get you get out. anxiety, you feel like jittery, like all it this is, adrenaline that like comes out of nowhere. Adrenaline that comes out of the blue that it's like... Yeah, and I'm not speaking for everybody because I know anxiety comes in different forms. Yeah, for sure. But it, I had a realization. Oh I'm God. like, that makes perfect sense because it's all the energy that naturally a human body produces and you don't know what to do with it because you're just like not burning it. No, I know exactly what you're talking about because I'm the kind that gets anxiety like at night. Like when I'm sleeping, I'll wake up like... <gasps> like yeah. that happens to me and I don't remember the last time it happened i yeah. don't know if it's because i'm and this could be more. anything it could be like if you're just like um emotionally going it through something it just makes a lot of stress it takes out the stress it if you're angry if you're sad it takes it all out i can't explain it oh no, literally it's like a de-stressor no it really is i don't know i just obviously like i said i don't want anyone that has anxiety to get offended and be like oh well you know that's not no, the cure not. to it but of not. you know if you're someone that maybe is dealing with like you know i don't know but it i'm is just a, speaking from experience no, from but like what i'm noticing thing, it is a thing Myra, where people like will take their stress out in the gym like it's a thing yeah you're not gonna offend anybody it's a thing where people will go in there and like and like sometimes it feels good to like you know it, it it's kind of like a de-stressor it kind of is because you're feel putting, so stupid yeah <laughs> me going crazy eating this whole plate talking about no but like what overall, is happening here? Myra, we're trying let we me are. tell you i'm trying you know what i have not changed my eating ways no, but also y'all. i feel like realistically i do cook a lot more often yeah i don't care like if someone's gonna judge me over eating chicken strips like you know what you're doing at home mm. and like as long as you're seeing the difference, like, you know, you know. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if you've heard of the Kershaw drama. I, I'm sure you guys have now, especially because, you know, it's now like Thursday or Friday when you guys are listening in. But so Krishan, we talked about how she had her baby like weeks ago. The baby's like a newborn. Oh, he's so cute. He is so cute. So a few weeks ago, I think we talked about it here on the podcast. And we we're saying like how she had gone live and like. I feel like 
the viewers, at least me, like I had seen her give Sorry, birth. I'm just like going crazy with this. Play you go drum. off, Queen. I had, you know, I was like rooting for her. I feel like the whole world was rooting for her. And they were like, dang, it seems like Krishan is like turning her life around. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, she said, fuck blue face. Like they had broken up. He was so, she's just toxic. Their relationship is just toxic. And she was, it looked like she was moving forward because, you know, she just had her kid and like, you know, everybody's rooting for her and stuff. And then um, right after that, like she gets back with blue face and then out of nowhere, like they do a music video and like the baby's in it. And they're like, wait, just days ago you were saying like you were done with him. Like now, like you and your baby are in this music video with him, basically saying like, fuck you guys to the audience. Like, you know, I mean, love Krishan. Even at the time when I saw that, I was like, I don't know. You know, sometimes when you're in a toxic relationship, you know, whatever, like, yeah. I don't know what the fuck they're going through. But somebody had made a TikTok. They kind of made some valid points that were like, I thought you were done. Like, and now you're, you know, your baby's like a week old. You're in this music video. They're around, they're smoking around this baby, drinking, Stop rowdy me. as hell. And you have your baby in that environment. So that's where it's kind of like the steam started. Like people were like saying like, what the fuck, Krishan? Like we thought you were, you were done. You know, we thought everything was turning around for you. And then there was like a video circulating with her with her at Walmart with her baby. I don't know if you saw it. You know what? I don't really like <clears throat> hear about her much, but I did see that video. Where the baby's like hanging off of the And I was like, that baby's back gotta hurt. Yeah, so the baby's like on that como se llama the little like canker thing. What is that thing called? Mm. The little thing <laughs> I don't even know what it's on? called. Like the the harness is that you carry a baby yeah. in. I mean the I baby am, I use them all the time. I just don't know what they're called. The baby don't is carry, like baby the baby's carry. like almost nearly falling out of it. And it's like why is he like that was a little alarming i was like why are you, like girl like especially because not just you being a public figure just in general as a mom like you wouldn't think like oh my baby's like super bent back he's a newborn you should be holding his head i mean even then you don't want to be judgmental but you're just like damn like some people are probably just not aware of like things like that you know um, yeah you're probably just not aware of it but like that i did that did stand out to yeah, me I, I was trying to like think like okay was it just one of those moments like where it was just caught was it like a split second that was just caught, caught on camera and then she noticed it later and was like oh my god my baby's yeah, like yeah, yeah that's what i'm trying to think so you know she gets back with him obviously because now they did this music video this is all like within a couple weeks it feels like within a week yeah. i'm like y'all are just like back and forth first you hate him you're done you know and then and then it, it had like there was like rumors or i don't know if this is a fact or not but that like you know how she had named her baby Krishan. yeah then they were saying that she's changed his name to Blueface's name, and now he's a junior. What? But like that, I don't know if that's a fact or not. I don't know. Hmm. Again, when all this was being said, I was just like, I don't know what's going on. Like, yeah. I've always like loved Krishan, so I was like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I just know that like they have a toxic relationship, and maybe she's just going through. I don't know. Even then, I didn't want to like judge. I was just like, I don't know what's going on. With that. Yeah. So then. Today I saw on TikTok how she goes live and she's like hysterically crying because Blueface, like, he is literally trash. Uh Uh-huh. So, it's so tragic. Like, apparently, like, the baby has, like, a hernia in his, like, um, like, area down there. So, I guess he's being petty and he got in a fight with with Krishan. Mm -hmm. And he's just this, if this doesn't tell you who this man is, I don't know what does. He posted a picture of his son's private area, like making fun of like his hernia. No, who the fuck? This motherfucker should be in jail. I just want to see from her from here what she does from here. If she gets back with him, I have lost all fucking respect for you. All respect out the window. If you fucking forgive that shit. Why would he post that? He's a piece of shit, Myra. Like. Let me. Do you want to see the tweets that he like? Like, do you want me to read you the tweets? Yeah. He is like a spiteful, honestly, like person. Y'all gotta be careful who you have kids with. That's crazy. No, Maya, this guy is like. He literally posted a picture, you know, of his of his son, and he posts. Oh my god, I'm so it got me so mad. She was literally Myra. She was literally crying on live. Like, why the fuck would he do that? Like. Like, obviously, you know, That's and terrible. like, I really hope Krishan, like, if this doesn't tell you who he is, this kid should not be living all of that within his first weeks of life dealing with all this shit. 
And like, I understand that she can't control what it Blueface just seems does. Like, from what I've seen, it just seems like extremely toxic. Extremely everything, you know, he's over here like bent back at Walmart and all these things that you're telling me. It just seems like that little kid is what he's a month and he's already Not even it's, a month, it's already his life is so chaotic it's honestly really that's sad. actually so sad it's actually really fucking sad and i feel like the the next step from her will show like where her priorities and are i don't at. think people realize like it's not about you when it comes to a relationship and you have a kid it's not about you anymore. no and you know what she seemed really upset like she was even saying on live like you're lucky my brother's in jail because you would she was basically saying like she was even she was so angry she was saying like you should be dead like, I will not be shocked if CPS gets involved. Like, what the fuck? I was going to say, that is something I feel like CPS would have But you know what? I, I don't know what's going to happen, but her next step is really what's going to show everything. Like, And also, I want to point out how he's like, you, 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 you need to take him to get surgery. What happened? I mean, weren't you the one that knocked her up? No, he like, he openly goes off on his rant talking about, like, like I told her to abort. What? Yeah. He is literally trash. And I don't know what the fuck she sees in him. Now, this whole conversation got me sick, girl. Let's just switch it up a little bit. Let's talk about PR stunts. We want to play a little game, you guys, because, you know, these days, I feel like a lot of things are, you know, you kind of question in the Hollywood world, like, is that a PR stunt or is that really how it is? Yeah. With, like, Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny. Like, is it a PR stunt? Are they really dating? Oh, they're dating. But, like, I know what you mean. think they're really, really dating? I think they are. Or, like, but I know what you mean because, like, everybody i feel like now it's either that like you can't tell if people just don't give a fuck anymore or if it's like pr stunts like how kylie like with her new man how yeah. she's just like boom here we are like you're like is it a pr stunt like yeah. to like are you like how is there the pro the mind process like are they thinking like you know what we just don't give a fuck or are they like you know what this actually might be a good move for us yeah so but yeah we want to play a little game hmm. pr stunts are you guilty okay okay we'll end it off in a on a good note because i swear that got me a little heated girl oh that shit had me like it's a little crazy okay have you ever faked having a good time at a family or friend event just to put on social media what How, okay have you ever faked having a good time at a family or friend event just to put up on social media no yeah no i've never faked like having a good time somewhere on social media like what does that mean though like like, are you going to be like, oh, my God, it's lit. And then, like, there's nothing going on or it's not. I would never fake like oh, I'm having a blast and I'm bored as fuck. No. Okay. Never. I feel you on that. I feel never. like if anything, if I'm having a really good time, I might not post. Yeah, I might post less when yep. I'm having a good fucking time. Actually, that part. That part. Yep. But like, say where you're like, let me post more so it looks like I'm having more fun. No. <laughs> yeah yeah no okay have you ever gotten drunk just for the sake of having a fun story to vlog no no me either no i could see how vloggers would do it though like oh i'm gonna like, get a get good drunk. vlog out of this and oh to get drunk no never like i would like i'll plan like content like the day around a vlog of course yeah that's a thing because you obviously you're like well if i'm home all day i'm not what are people gonna see so i take advantage like oh i'm vlogging today like let me get my errands done today yep you know does that make sense like you're not oh, faking duh, it. yeah but like if you have errands to run or not even that if i know that day i'm gonna have like a, a productive day then i'm like oh maybe today's a good day to vlog yeah if right? i'm like doing 100 percent, if i'm doing like just any vlog i'm not just gonna sit in my house all day like i'm gonna get errands done i'm gonna say like let's go here Let's do this. Let's clean. I don't know. Like, yeah, of course. I know that got me thinking about Vlogmas. Because Vlogmas, you'll definitely see those days where you're like, damn, bitch, you're really not no, doing Vlogmas, nothing today. No, Vlogmas, I'm doing extra shit just for the vlogs. Like, I, I have to admit. Because there's a lot of days where, you know, you're just sitting at home and you're like, well, fuck, is Vlogmas just going to be me sitting at home? Like, no, let's go. Let's go make some cookies or something. Yeah, it's true. You got, you have to. I mean, it doesn't mean that your life is fake. No, it's it just doesn't like, mean that. It's just that you're probably more productive that day. Yeah, like you're just thinking, like, let's do something productive today, because like my vlog is gonna be me just sitting in my fucking living room all day. <laughs> me being a couch potato. Um, have you ever posted a photo or a story to show who you're hanging out with? Um, have I? 
Well, I did post a, um, not too like full, but I remember, and I got, we got to show this picture I, when I met Kylie Jenner years ago. This was her blue hair era. Damn, you met <laughs> King Kylie. King Kylie. She was like, she was already in her she King, King Kylie, Kylie era. Kylie. And I remember posting like, yeah, I remember even like, like when her birthday came up, like happy birthday, Kim, uh, Kim bitch, not saying anything, Kim. <laughs> happy birthday kylie with our picture not me acting like we're friends queen stop it right now i didn't post it like happy birthday too like no it was like on story no but that reminds me of like those people that will i don't want to try my bestie there's always those people that will find like every celebrity and where the fuck they're at and like they just know where they're all at damn girl you got a lot and like i know your job is literally stalking down these celebrities and then they, they'll take pictures with all these like influencer celebrities and they'll be like, it was good to see you, boo. And it's like, you literally- it was not. It was good stalking you, queen. Let's keep it 100. <laughs> keep it 100. You stalk these motherfuckers for a living. There's people that like, they will literally find everybody. No, I know like, a couple people that I'm like, I know damn right. Kim don't know you, girl. How the fuck you find her like every other week? Yeah. Like, let's keep it real um but i gotta say i was like oh my god the fact that i got a picture with kylie like king kylie era too girl. happy birthday kylie and That's i remember it. literally like um, i'm sure that year i was like this is my moment on my stories i was like happy birthday kylie ah, what a picture! you're like can't wait to hang out soon happy birthday bestie Imagine. see you soon babe <laughs> no okay no but for real I can't believe I have a picture with her, Queen. Actually, I feel see, like actually, to an extent, let's keep it real. Because actually, it, you show a lot with the caption that you put. It shows a lot. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna probably and I'm gonna pull up that caption and see what I was trying to fool. Who I was trying to fool. That's so funny. Hold on, no, but I feel like for this question, to an extent, you can't just say like no, never. Like, but also like it should be natural. It really should. But let's keep it real. Like when you go to like influencer events and stuff, naturally you are like, you, of course, you're seeing a lot of friends. You make friends like you make actual friends with these people. But also, you know, that going to this event, you're like, well, I, I want to show that I'm like here at this event. I want to post. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to be at this event. I'm going to post it. Oh, my gosh. I've been watching this person forever. Let's take a picture, please. You know, like things like that. Cause it's for your own accomplishments. You're kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. Like, let's take pictures. Let me take pictures with you. Like, we're mutuals. Let me take pictures yeah, with you. I feel like it's giving like event vibes. Like, oh, here, like with Yeah, like, just naturally. People. So, yeah, naturally, like every influencer at like events. Ne- like, if we're going to talk about networking, okay, that's a little different. Oh, no, yeah. Like, you're going to, if you see Kylie Jenner at an event, you're going to. You're going to be like, my goal is to get a picture with Kylie. Oh, that tonight. was for sure the goal, Queen. Yeah, I was course. definitely that, that person. But or I'm- if I look up to somebody and I'm meeting like in another fellow influencer that I really look up to, like I'm thinking like, I'm going to try to like ask him or her for a picture tonight. Damn right. But obviously in the right timing and stuff, you know, just for your own like little fangirl moment, like dead ass, you know. Um, But I mean, I've never met Kylie. No, nah, because I don't know. I've never met a picture. Kardashian. Where is this picture at? I was definitely like, what? I remember I I was like, oh my gosh. I couldn't believe you met Kylie. I couldn't. And she was actually, um, she was nice. It was was. like super quick. I remember she was like walking and I was definitely that annoying person. Like, Kylie, stop. Kylie, please. You You know, everybody at that event was like. Oh, here it is. What was the caption? Um, At the Bellamy hair event with the oh so gorgeous Kylie Jenner. Okay, you know, she's authentic. It was kind of giving, like, mm, she want to say they're besties at an event, but she was staying humble. No, but you're very nice. You were very, like, I'm here with the queen, basically. Yeah, I literally put at the belly. If you would have been, like, with how oh, so gorgeous Kylie Jenner. That's literally yeah. what I put. And then there's those people that would have put in the caption, it was so good to see my bestie tonight at Kylie Jenner. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Have you ever decorated just one part of your house? That'll be seen on camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you about some content. Imagine. Let me tell you about this room. Imagine. Right? This is already like a whole stage. And then stage. And then um, we have the old table over there with a bunch of shit on it. Um, Slime in a corner over there falling over. Imagine. I mean, you, uh, have you like when you're going to film like move like the, oh, the stuff you don't shit. like at the frame? Sometimes I'm vlogging and I'm like, let me just pick this area up real quick. Because damn. You are so real for that. Like or sometimes... 
I mean, even in general, most people when they have like their setup to film, yeah, like their actual setup, like it's a literally a you corner. intentionally make it cute, right? Like you usually have a corner in a room where you're like, okay, this is like my that's a thing. thing. That's real. Or yeah, it's a hundred percent a thing. One hundred percent, it's a thing where you will like clean the space where you're like, oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Move all that trash out of the way. 100%. Okay, this one's kind of good because it kind of reminds me of like of content too, Loki. Have you ever decorated just, oh my sorry, <laughs> me Wait, reading the same one. Mean? Have you ever bought more things at a store just for the sake of showing what you bought on social media? Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Okay, this is not like, it's not even flexing though. Let's clear that up. It's not flexing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's for a haul. <laughs> That's what it is. No, that is so fucking Oh my god, actually, dude. this is so real. To an extent, I used to buy, uh, when I used to do my makeup tutorials, say Kylie was having a new collection, Jeffree Star, all these people that wear their makeup lines, I used to buy their massive co- holiday collections for the sake of a review. I mean, that's iconic. I was never a, a beauty girly like that. So, And it was like, I would buy it like for the review, only for that. But it's like, but that's the same thing. People don't understand. I know you were talking about... I think in one of the podcasts about the candles you used to buy, you would never use them, but you would buy them for the haul. I would buy them for the haul. I mean, I love the candles, but I would be like, I'm going to get my haul out of this. I mean, who are you fooling? The audience or yourself? Because you're paying that shit. That part. <laughs> so, who are you fooling? Yourself or your wallet, my <laughs> man? That part. Like, honey, you still have to purchase it. Unless you want to be smart and fill up your car, act like you're going to buy it and then leave it at the store. No, not you filming the hall in an aisle. Like, why? <laughs> Girl, I'm taking all this, walks out, leaves the car full. No, stop I mean, playing. if you want to get caught in like con- <laughs> content like that, you know, people do like shop with me for fall. Like a little Target thing, like adding things to your cart. Okay, and just so I have a store. confession. Stop. I was going to go fall shopping. Uh huh. Um, I actually just posted a vlog recently. Fall now haul. Now you exposing yourself, queen. And I was gonna go fall shopping. I was, but like uh-huh. I kind of went crazy these last few years, so like I didn't have to buy too much. Uh huh. But I will say, I took it upon myself to go to extra stores okay this is the thing i was already gonna go fall shopping and then i was like let me vlog Uh, perfect i need a vlog i might as well do this you know but i was already gonna fall shop so don't come at me Uh y'all but i got so few little things at the first store that i was like "Mm, this is not a vlog and i don't have enough footage to make it a video so i was like um okay let's head up the next door Stop playing, girl. I did. I'm not even gonna fucking lie. <laughs> I mean, lie. but like, really, I got some cute shit. It was for good. You got fall stuff. But I was gonna fall shop. But I did hit up a couple extra stores because I was like, let's turn it into a vlog. That kind of reminds me, like, um, because recently too, I haven't. I've decorated certain parts of my home, but in my mind, I'm like, I want to make a TikTok, like decorating my house, right? Oh my god! <laughs> and I'm like, I can't decorate yet because I haven't found the day for me to film it. And I'm like, bitch what world do we live in that you gotta wait because you gotta record it for content queen <laughs> hey to be fair i don't do tiktoks she's just trying to have her comeback i'm fucking so, screaming to be fair it's no, just but my like, kitchen and living room y'all the rest is decorated. i will say though like with that being said you know like how like if i'm gonna go shopping for something i'm like i might as well record it i might add a little to it and i'm like let's go to a couple extra stores i will not actually be like i have to go here because i need a vlog no so yeah okay next one have you ever posted an overly loving post to social media just to be cute not like that no hmm. what like what do they mean over loving like, like maybe like huh i might be feeling motivational that day and post like a cute little quote or something i might be not feeling motivated but i'm still here Sharon. stay positive and I i'm might over be, here falling apart i'm posting that shit for me <laughs> i'm like i need that reassurance no right or I'm like oh i'm not having a good day i know someone else is not so let me share this so it could kind of like okay have their perspective change a little bit i definitely never thought like i'm trying to be cute today so really post loving post i feel like people do that with their couples and i'm like i know your relationship is falling apart oh, no. queen. yeah that's too much <laughs> i i love just being honest and saying like like if i pull something about me and raul i don't know if it's like a millennial thing because you know i don't know i guess i just <laughs> Like, when I post a picture of Raul and I, like, I will post something like, 
you know, because you don't want to be too perfect. So I'll always be like, oh, you know, we hate each other, but we love each other. It sounds so millennial me. It's very millennial for sure. <laughs> like, but what is millennial to y'all? Because like, I'm trying not to be. <laughs> I know, right? Like, I'm trying not to be a pick me, but that makes me a pick me somehow. Like, I don't know how to it's do it. It's not giving pick me. It's just giving like dad joke. Vibe. I know, and it's so cringy. So I don't know like where I stand. I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to put that we're perfect. So I do say like we can't. Stand I mean, each sometimes other. just a love you, <laughs> you know. But there is people that like if you're giving me a whole paragraph, girl. I'm like, sheesh, keep mama. it cute, keep it little and cute. <laughs> I don't want to click read more. Imagine read more the whole novel. Imagine. A girl, I don't even know your love story. Just tell me y'all is y'all's anniversary. Like if you want to <laughs> tell me your love story, tell me on stories, because that's cuter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I cute. love reading like love stories like when people will post like throwbacks. There's another one. Uh kind of what we're talking about. Have you ever uh blah, 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 have you <laughs> have you ever faked being in a good mood to post on stories? I mean, I feel like sometimes you just gotta post to have um something something up there like damn I'm alive, i definitely y'all. have random days where i'll be like i haven't posted shit today oh that's me today it literally and has a little ad button because yeah, i'm like wait i haven't posted anything maybe i should post something even if i'm just sitting at home like not a doing little anything. quote or something and i'll post like a picture from disneyland from like last week on my stories or yeah. like what you're eating or something something i'll go into my camera roll like i should post something because you want to be active a little bit yeah i haven't been active in a couple days Okay, this is a good one. Have you ever used the phrase, so many of you asked, but hardly anyone or no one asked just to talk about it? That is actually so funny. A lot of people do it, though. I've seen a lot of people do that. I've seen a lot of people talk about it. And it's funny as fuck because I know there was a time where I would do it a lot when, you know, when I was trying to maybe do this social media thing. But in all honesty, I feel like I don't do that now. No. If anything, because I'm, the the reality of it, not a lot of people ask. Well, like saying, if I say a lot of people ask, um, it's got to be like more than two people, and then I'm like, okay, people want to know. I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's not hundreds sure. of people asking. No, if you post a story and somebody's like, "Where are your pants from?" and it's four people asking, I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay. So the ladies want more. Know. The, more you people are gonna ask. I feel like now I put a lot of thought into that, though. I feel like I feel you like back then I would be like a lot of y'all asked and I wouldn't put much thought into it. It probably was like, you know, four or five people mm-hmm. or sometimes it is a lot. Sometimes, yeah, you get them like, oh, shit, sometimes you're so- like, oh, shit. OK, let me No, sometimes like some. it is a lot of people asking. Then I'm like, OK, so you could say okay. a lot of people. When I say a lot of people, I'm predicting that more people are going to ask. Like, if I just posted this story 10 minutes ago and five people have already asked me where are my pants from, I'm going to predict that in the next few hours if a lot I of people are going to ask me. Like, if it's just a couple, like, literally, if it's just, like, two or three people, I'll be like, some of y'all are asking, like, because I just feel like... Because you also know that, like, if if people asked and you just posted it, you know people are going to, like, continue to ask, Or you know that people are curious, you know? Yeah, yeah. That is so funny. But I feel like I see a lot of people say that. I've definitely never I been, like... I know a lot of y'all been a- Girl, you just posted that one minute ago. I know. I am right. Ain't nobody ask you. <laughs> I definitely will not just be like, a lot of y'all asked and nobody asked. Tampoco no. No, if nobody asked, no, I'm not saying that either. Like... For what? It's kind I of, feel it's like kind of funny. Like I don't know. I feel like that's like if you want to flex on something for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel like I really feel like I have to have a good amount to say a lot of y'all asked, and I'm like, lol. Girl. No, but like a lot of y'all asked four people. That, that's real because you're like a, a, four of you asked in the last so and so minutes. Like I just posted this. You guys are gonna ask for the twenty four hours. You know that people are gonna keep asking that because you're seeing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. yeah. That I'm is sure so everybody funny. can relate. To but that, you know though. what? Everybody at some point has done it. Have you ever changed your voice to sound cute, sweet, nice, etc.? In the beginning of my... Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm going to be real. In the beginning of my... Actually, no. In the beginning of my YouTube career, I want to say, like, it wasn't even the beginning of any career, bitch. This is, like, way back 2012. Like, anything, anything that's private in, Yeah. I feel like the beauty world was very... I'm going to say it. I don't care. The beauty world was fake as fuck. Now that we go to events, everybody's a lot more human. Like, oh my god, normal, a lot more human. Myra, chill, humble. I used to go to these events, and I was. They it was a different scary. world. They were scary, and I think everybody was just so used to that idea that everybody was putting on a fake front. 
Everybody was everybody. so... Everybody. And I didn't really have a choice because I was trying to network. So I was I really used to go. Guys, okay, drive so my ass to LA by myself. I used to have an apartment in LA because um, oh, like I was right. there a lot of the time. So I had an apartment out there and Myra would beg me. She's like, Karina, it's down the street. Just Even come with live, me. Like with us, I would tell you. Yeah. And, and I was like, I'm to. not going. But that's the thing. I'm like, I didn't want to just go. It was more like networking and getting to know the brand. No, I know. Honestly, in the past, Myra, I just... I saw the beauty influencer world as such a scary place. I actually used to, I used to vibes. tell Myra, like, like, I feel like you shouldn't get close to these people. Yeah, they look know. fucking scary. And what happened? Drama get in, boom, the next year. And I was like, I'm so glad you never got close to any of these people. Drama get in. That's really funny that I didn't know that that was a word. No, and it was so, the beauty community was so toxic, guys. Like, I truly, like, there was a moment, like, in time that I truly was so happy that Myra didn't become cool because like i feel like there was a lot of people in that in those circles yeah. that you like but you know what? friendships with but but i never created like but you I were not like close with only, them there's only a couple people that i could say like okay i had like a close friendship with you till this day that i have close friendship with but like no, for yeah. me it was like like i would meet these people and i was like but i was never like oh my god i gotta figure out how to be their best be honest and, dude like i just I remember, kept my distance a yes, lot yes i remember myra like you know you would become like mutuals with some of these people but like I remember, like after seeing so much drama go down, I had I was so grateful that you never got close to like those people because the toxic the toxicity toxic to toxic I can't fucking speak Tox Tox I don't know toxicity uh huh was just outrageous, bitch. Yeah, what it, was the question? <laughs> I forgot. I just I used to be. I remember going to like one or two events with Myra, and just those two events, guys. Like the aura in those rooms. I was terrified. Oh my god! No, like no shade to like um some people, but there is people that like at the time. I feel like now it's more about personality, but like taking it way back to the beauty, like how yeah. beauty started, Maya. A lot of times, like you would watch some people just because they were gorgeous. That part, I literally let me mention a couple that I would just watch that I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> Carly Bible, stunning, drop that girl. Gorgeous. I literally would just watch to admire her beauty. <laughs> I literally would just watch her. Now she it? she has a baby now, and I feel like I see more of her personality now in her videos. But at the time, I was watching you because you were beautiful. You know who I was like? Okay, I I started seeing like she actually had a personality. Jacqueline Hill. Actually, I don't. Yes, Jacqueline Hill. She was the one where I was like, this girl is funny. Not only she was dropped, she's still dropped dead gorgeous. She's no. a gorgeous girl, but she was she just showed so, her personality. She showed her personality. Because let me tell you, going back to the question and faking our voice, I'm mean, just saying because I know I know y'all going back to you guys are gonna go back to our old videos just us saying it. I just can see it already. Um, but yeah, like the same thing with me, my old videos. Who is she? Where's the Myra we know? No, literally, I'm like, who are you? <laughs> Why? Like, no, Karina. I swear to you, like my voice. Maybe because I was younger too. But, like, the front I would put, I understand. Like, I completely get that, like, I've always been the more calm twin, more shy, conservative vibes. But, girl, Karina, let's be real. I was not that calm. I don't think you showed your personality a lot At back all. then. But it's because also, like, you were just showing makeup people tutorials. Would sh and then people would watch my, my Vlog. vlogs and they were like, you're a complete different person. It's like, mama, no, she's just clocking in. <laughs> this is her <laughs> this is her freaking work voice you know what's funny if anything i feel like my videos back then were more obnoxious i wanted to be different so bad <laughs> karina no i wanted Don't to say be, that i wanted to be different from all the aesthetic girlies because i was be you Tiffle. No, and, <laughs> yes, I, and I, your I was myself of course like yeah like if you look back at no, like you even my yourself. first videos i used to be like not these boots ripping queen not them ripping at the calves girl oh my god stop not them popping open right then they like toaster strudels like right <laughs> no literally it's like ripping from the stretchy part. not playing i'm screaming oh my god wait stop no, i was me explain no like you look back at my videos and i'm like girl that girl you. i literally like still talk the same you which is do. hilarious you look back and you're like nah you were being you were being you but you were adding a little a, a little, little sour, sour cream girl <laughs> <laughs> or you know how people say like crema crema tacos? Tacos? like i was doing a little bit too much i mean there was no reason for me to be screaming while eating spicy noodles <laughs> You know what? There was no reason for me to be gagging on camera. No, screaming. you know what? 
<laughs> yeah, you're a little extra. Like, she was a little extra. Yeah, the times I would have filmed with you, I was like, damn, this bitch just get, got all the energy in the world. <laughs> and but the kids ate that shit up. And I was going to say, you ate, queen. <laughs> Uh, too much <laughs> no, I was she gonna ain't alright no I was gonna say like that made you Karina Garcia bitch no but it's funny cause but and I and you kind she of told so me that dramatic. too I remember when we started filming the podcast I've always been super like I show like my emotions through me physically like if I'm just like I could think something's like, oh my God. And I'm like, oh my God. And Karina actually taught me like, no, for the camera, you got to exaggerate a little bit. No, no, no. no he's so fake. No, no, You no. did tell me that. I told you, I said, sometimes when you want to like show expression, sometimes remind yourself to, to do it, to animate physically. yourself a little bit. Animate <laughs> yourself. That's what it is. I mean, you got to like, if you know that you naturally have like a resting bitch face, I'm not saying you do. <laughs> But like they all you, saying it, queen. Imagine. No, but like if you if you're someone who you know that you're like sometimes I have a serious face, just remind yourself like let me put a little expression. Into no, and this. I feel you. Like yeah, but like yeah, you look back at my videos of me eating ramen noodles and me making slime and stuff, and you're like this bitch is so extra for no reason. Uh, she's a but queen. I will actually Karina, the Myra. chicken nugget challenge. Did we gotta break that fucking table? That was actually no, that, that happened. Broke. No, on that accident. broke for real. That really fucking broke. Yeah, but but like. No, Did but we I have to back? shove the chicken nuggets in our mouth and gag? Honestly, that, that video is so funny. Myra, I look back. I can't. And I know it was, it's cringy because I look back and I'm cringing like no other. <laughs> but I'm actually cackling. I'm like, this bitch is funny. She's a joke. She's a queen. And I, and look. Hey, she made it. That's all that matters, queen. And, and you could say whatever, you know. I wasn't being fake. I was being me. I was bumping it up a notch a little bit because I like to be the joke up to town. And that's exactly... And I knew I was a joke. I knew that some people so were to cackling. to answer your question, yes, we changed our voice. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> so my voice was me. It's just that my personality was exaggerated No, we're talking about bit. our old videos. Like, very beginning videos, yes. I was talking like, hey, guys, welcome back yeah. to the channel. Now I don't care. It's just like, I mean, even... Yeah, like... I Whatever. feel like even now, now though, like with your blogs and stuff, you're very much like yourself. It's giving mother, it's giving mother giving entrepreneur, like flying is, queen. Like for what? I can't do it. Boss queen. Imagine. No. <laughs> Boss babe. Like why? Boss babe. Ew. It's very like organic. It's giving millennial. It's imagine. giving. Oh, it's definitely giving millennial. Child. A bossed up millennial. Like why is millennial... Why is it so? It's really such an insult. I want to be a Gen Z. So imagine. <laughs> I want to be young again. No, because like we are really senoras, okay? It's the fact that we're gonna be thirty. I don't get it. We are senoras, girl. It's the fact that people born in two thousand are adults. I don't. Understand. I get excited You're for cleaning to me. stuff. I get ex excited for like the newest mop in the fucking. I get so excited grocery shopping. Like, we are senoras. I want to get pots. Like, I want to get princess house pots. Bitch, I'm a senora for wanting that. Princess house. Oh, royal God. prestige. Prestige. My mom always tells me t royal prestige is better, but... Uh, yeah. I mean, she's both girl. iconic. I just... We're, sen we're in our senora era, Karina. I be cooking up every single day. I'm like, damn, I love you're cooking. a senora the house. It's the, the joys in life have changed. And 100%. It's crazy. She's in her Senora era. But damn, you guys, we talked for almost two hours. It was a great episode. Skinny Tober was good. She's coming Skinny next week. Skinny Tober next week. Hold on to your fucking wigs, bitch, because. Hold on to your horses, queen, because it's going down. And comment down below what topics do you guys want to hear? What do you guys want to see? Let's not the forget. The three hour episodes are coming. I'm kidding. <laughs> Chris is like, oh, uh, imagine. Our producer like, fuck. You <laughs> okay. No, for real though. Girl chat. I'm not us coming for the real. No, no, no. We want to talk about, you know, t topics. You let us know, guys, in the comments. For Skinny Tober, what do you want to see? We will. We already are just naturally thinking like we got to pop off with these episodes. But let us know if you want anything in particular. Let us know, queens. And until the next one. We'll see y'all at Skate Over. Bye. Bye. Bye.